Are you preparing Getting for my hands haste? dirty today? <laughs> I'm going to be updating some stickers and some different things, so watch for that to come. Something exciting! Welcome to my crazy life as a first generation female farmer, the Chronicles of Kayla. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the buddy seat. This has been me, obviously, 10,000 subscribers ago. So I am desperately trying to get my website. I have been working on the Chronicles, the blog, all the things. Um, but guess what? You guys, she's here. She's live. Look, you guys can go um, check out the Farmer Merch Bin. Um, they've been doing all our stickers. Um, I've sent them off to our do our shirts. Um, so we're going to try to get rid of all of our old merch. These are all the ones that were from my other um, rep that we worked with. So we are going to be updating some stickers and some different things. So watch for that to come. I'm super excited. You guys can go check them out. I will link them at the end of the video and also down below. Um, Allison is amazing to work with. So we'll be just, there's more to come. I promise. Good morning. It's beautiful. It's a little bit chilly. We are going to be loading out straw this morning. What size trailer is this? Huh? 53. 53. You had savings or something. So um, every so often we get walking floor trailers to come in and they bring pine shavings up and then they take straw back. So it's a 53 foot trailer. How many straw bales do you think we can get in there? <laughs> yeah, you need to get over at the top. So what it does is these got panels on the floor and it'll walk the straw up. Top! question is, is if we can shut the door. Oh, these are heavy.
things can go. Yay! Got her! So, how many did you put on? I think 51. Yeah. Pretty sure that's usually what we yeah. aim out. So, that's 17 stacks of three. Yeah, because if you did 18, he might have 54 on, but I'm not sure. We'll know when they unload it. I have a sort a, of lost count. A three by three big square is not a true three foot by three foot. Yeah. So he may have 54 on. I've turned enough on edge that he may have them, I'm not sure. Hurry, sounds good. Dider, are you gonna go get with daddy? Hey, are you gonna go get in the semi? He's like, no, mom, I don't like riding in the semi. Or are you going home with mom? Did you go home with mom? Good morning. We have care packages. Um, so this is one of my favorite Missouri brands. Can you guys see me? It's probably because the lighting is going to be, the sun's shining and I'm not going to take time to uh, close the drapes. Sorry. Uh, but you guys have seen um, how much I like supporting small brands, especially Missouri brands. Um, I know this probably doesn't contain to a lot of you men, but you can get your wives and daughters <coughs> stuff instead. So these um, headbands are from the Lilac team. Again, they are from Missouri. So I love, love supporting them. So you guys get to unbox this with me. Their boxes are super, super cute. Um, this is the Lilac Market headbands. Uh, they actually just dropped some new ones, some new styles. You guys saw that they did something special for me um, when I found out we were having uterine issues. They made a special peachy colored one for me, which was so sweet and so special. I think I have some more of them. They're all over. Jalen likes to wear them. This is also one of my favorites. Chaos Coordinator, story of my life. But these are two of the new um, spring drops. So we're gonna purple, blue. It all works the same. So we got some errands to run. Jason has some parts that we're picking up. And then we'll come back and have lunch. So let's get on the road. Do you guys get to go? You guys get to go get a bath? Kitty, you better move. Okay, come on. Who's all getting in? Go. You're gonna have to ride in the back for right now. Come on. My tree. Hey, right, come on. Well, that's gross. Look at the frost on my window. 33. It's flipping April. <sighs> Get some defrost going, Kayla. Okay, parts delivering is almost done. Right. Yes. I got your parts. You should be happy now. That's my lunch container. Were you gonna bring that home? I don't know. I saved these. What you working on? Your seals. They're leaking. That's so, not good. Just on this axle, both sides. Hmm. I have your parts paper in the truck. Oh, there's a puppy. I see it. I'm going to go wrangle them, see if I can't catch them. Never forget to put the bearing in. <laughs> That's why it's already in. That's right. So you want to explain what you're doing here? So we're doing wheel seals today on this axle because they're both leaking 
So I missed him putting the first one in. I was talking. So we'll watch him do the second one. Are you gonna get this done today? Yeah. To get it out of here? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. There she is. So this stuff all it came as a kit. This is what I had to run and pick up this morning. Cheers in. Cheers in. Well, let's give her a good tap. <laughs> so you want to explain the reason why um, you do most of your maintenance yourself? To or save money. It's mainly. Well, and that we don't live close enough to do, like, a lot, you know, we got to drive, what, easily 35 minutes everywhere we go? Yeah, I mean, but still, it's like, well, I mean, why pay someone else to do it when I can do it, you know? I mean, it's either that much money I save, or that much more money in my pocket, or that much more money I don't have to make. Almost time to go. That looks like it's way over my 15 pound weight limit. This is why we take Jason's strings out of his hoodies. He's been known to catch himself a couple of times. Everybody is enjoying your content that you've been... Really? Helping. Yes. That's nice. Yes. Your little uh, side knowledge. Mm. Are you preparing Getting for hands dirty today? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, are you ready for hay season? I wasn't ready to quit. I was ready to be done last year. I'm not sure I'm ready. Mentally, yes. Physically, not so much. Okay. I am grateful. Do you know how much editing I have to do because of you? Nobody's here yet. Paul? Paul! That was it. We better get a good spot at the lunch, huh? Okay, keys. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. So you being good? Hmm? What are you doing, boys? Hmm? No, Roxy. So windy, but my yard looks nice. Jason mowed it yesterday. Go watch uh, 
my basketball game down in the shop so that way Jason can keep working on some stuff. And uh, yeah. We're just trying to get ready for um, hay season. One day at a time. Hopefully these oats keep growing. We've gotten some nice rain. It rained again last night or this morning at some point before I went to church. I think there's even a little bit of alfalfa trying to come back. We'll have to walk out there one day when it's not so windy. I know. What are we doing today? drop Shiloh back off to pasture for right now. Um, hopefully she has a baby in there. We'll uh, take her in about three weeks. I can't unlock the door and be on the phone at the same time. Uh, we'll take her in three weeks to the vet to be checked. And uh, if she's not bred, then I'll haul her back over to Haley's for just a little bit. But if she is bred, oh, yay. I see a pretty girl. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if she's not bred, then her and I will just get back in shape, won't we? But one of the main reasons we went ahead and bred her was so that I could focus on riding storm this summer. Mm -hmm. oh. Do you know where you're at? Easy. Oh, uh-uh. Not on me. Easy. Good girl. Where's your friends? Yeah, I don't care, Mom. I just want some grass. There you go. Go ahead. She sees them. There she goes. So happy. Oh, there's Lena. Lena gonna come see what's going on. Come on, Lena! Say nope, I'm not coming up there after all. Sorry. It is a super, super gorgeous day. It makes me want to do all the things outside, like work with the horses and ride, and do all the things I'm really not technically allowed to do yet. I dropped Jalen off at the house so that she could grab some lunch. She has practice this afternoon, then Keaton also has practice, and it's a solar eclipse. So, I'm trying to be home so I can catch some of that. Maybe, I didn't buy the special glasses. It is just gonna be what it is. Uh, but, get back, do what we need to do, run again. Um, we went live last night, so whoever uh, tagged along with that, that was exciting news. We hit 30,000, and we wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. So. So thank you so much, um, greatly appreciated. I am going to go down, flip around, and go back to the shop, drop this off, grab some lunch for myself, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys probably tomorrow, probably tomorrow. I'll see you later. All right, well, I think the eclipse happened. We're not real sure. It's very dark and eerie out. We didn't buy the fancy glasses, but I'm gonna tell Jason bye-bye, go get Sissy and then work on my way back to the next thing I gotta get done. We were talking about the oats last night and how some of it still has some alfalfa in it. So here's a prime example of alfalfa being resilient. Watch out, rocks. Being resilient, coming back. It's actually, okay, Roxy wants to say hello. Okay, can you, can you be done now? Can I talk? Are you good? Okay. Stop. Okay, um, I don't know if you guys can tell how bright it is out here now, but the eclipse is happening as we are out here. 
Anyway, we're talking about oats and looking at them and how resilient alfalfa can be. Jason talked about it last night that last year when we went to do the oats, that when we sprayed for to kill the alfalfa off, we didn't get the rain that we were anticipating. So we still have some residual alfalfa, which is very hardy. Um, if I was to pick the roots out of it, which we're not going to do, um, if I pick the roots out of it, you could have roots, you know, two foot into the ground. They're about, you know, tree-like. They're about the diameter of my finger. But the alfalfa will definitely be sparking um, some stickers and maybe a shirt idea about being resilient. But our oats are coming. Pretty excited about them. In the meantime, um, just daily life, getting things organized and enjoying the beautiful weather that we're having right now. What are you doing? Where are you going? Is Oreo outside? Yes. <sighs> okay. Something exciting!